guys, Dylan Schumacher with the Citadel Defense, and I have said goodbye to my big dots, and I have replaced them with the F8, also from Express uh, Sight Systems. So, we're just going to talk a little bit about why I chose to do that, and, and why I'm parting ways with the big dots after, uh, I don't know, several years of use. Uh, really enjoyed them while I had them. So first of all, uh, here is the new sight picture like I just showed you right there. So it's a notch uh, with a front post there, bright orange front post. This rear uh, sight will glow in the dark. It's a tritium, so is the front one. So uh, I just swapped them out and we're just going to talk about why. So I did have the XS sights for several years and I originally switched to them because uh, you know, it was it was that big dot, right? You just put the big dot on which one to hit, pull the trigger, problem solved. And uh, over time, my priorities have shifted. So initially, uh, you know, I just wanted a good, solid kind of defensive sight, and that that's why I ended up going with those on the recommendation of, of some people that I really admire and chose to use those on my handgun. And then uh, I started to try to shoot more intense uh, standards. And I, I started to have some hiccups, and, and I, I definitely think you know there's a degree of skill which I need to need to master and, and uh, um, up my game a little bit. But there was also I noticed that when I got to 25 yards with my big dots uh, on an eight-inch circle, I had to hold uh, get my sight picture below that entire eight-inch circle in order to hit the eight-inch circle. And that was that was really a big negative for me. And 25 yards is not that far. Uh, it's it's not that tough of a pistol shot. And here I am struggling because I have to hold this deep six o'clock hold on a on a on an eight inch circle at 25 yards in order to hit what I want to hit, and that was really the start of the end for me, uh, because I think we would all agree, and, and maybe you don't know, but I, I would argue that the big dots are not a precision sight. Um, they're, they're just a, a, di a combat sight, I guess is really what a quick access combat sight. And let me say this: 15 yards and in. Big dots are king, okay? I mean, uh, there, there's no argument. Um, 15 yards and in, big dots are king. You pull the gun out, you get that beautiful, huge front sight picture. It, it's like a poor man's red dot on, on a handgun. I mean, they're just 15 yards and in, there is no comparison. However, again, what happens when you want to shoot outside of 15 yards with your pistol? And that's where I start to run into issues. And like I said, I desire a precision shot at distance with my handgun. I want to be able to do that, and I don't want equipment to hold me back from being able to accomplish that. So that really is what led to the search for a new sight. One of the other reasons that I switched away from big dots is the rear sight is a really, it's a snag-free sight. Anytime you're looking at defensive sights for an EDC handgun or, or a combat gun and they say snag-free, skip. Okay, that's just, that's an automatic skip because that doesn't allow you to use that rear sight to manipulate that gun one-handed, right? To rack it off your belt or your holster or your buddy's plate carrier, right? I mean, whatever. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't allow you to rack it off. Uh, I'm kidding, okay? Right? Uh, it doesn't allow you to rack it off other objects or a table to get that gun into action. Or it doesn't, I shouldn't say it doesn't allow you. It makes it tougher. I, I can single-hand rack the big dots off my belt or my holster. But I gotta work at it. I mean, it, because it, it's this slim, snag-free sight, that's just harder to accomplish. Now, uh, I chose the F8s from X, uh, XS Sights uh, for a couple reasons. One, uh, I had a buddy who put them on his gun recently after also switching away from the big dots. And uh, he's reported good things, so I want, I want to try them out for that reason. Uh, the second thing is, uh, you know, it does, again, it has a big front sight. Now, am I going to just wind up back where I started? I hope not, um, because I really got that U notch. And there's some daylight on either side of that U, which I'm sure you're able to see there, uh, for me to be able to get that more precision sight picture. So we're going to shoot them. I haven't shot them yet. You know, I just I just put them on today here and, and wanted to talk about it. And, uh, and we'll see. We'll see. And I'm sure there'll be an update to this about how they go. Uh, I will say, I also bought a set of Trijicon XR HDs, uh, or HDXR, I'm not sure what comes first, and I put those on my G17. And I'm also excited to, to test those out and see how those go. Initially, I like the, the XDs, uh, or I like the Trijicons a lot more than I like the F8s. So we'll be curious to, to see how they perform and, and how I like them and kind of what I prefer. As you can see here, there's just a, this is a really deep uh, rear sight, so there's a lot of ledge to work with. That's probably like three quarters of an inch 
uh, half an inch. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of room to work with there so that when I want to rack that off a belt or a holster or whatever, I'm able to accomplish that. Uh, I will say, lastly, on any uh, EDC handgun you have, or, or duty combat handgun, obviously, uh, you should have night sights in that handgun. Those, those are an absolute must. I don't care if it's if it's tritium, which I prefer, uh, or if even if you just get the painted illumination things that charge up with, with daylight on them or light on them, right? Um, but something. you got to have some way to access your sights at night. Uh, preferably just get the tritiums, right? And, and that's, that's a big, big win. So you got to have those bar none. And then, again, I like that deep sight because I want to be able to do those single hand racks and manipulations if I need to. Do, do I in, plan on that happening? No, but nobody ever plans on getting shot or disabled, right? So that's for me. That's why I switched. I'm, I'm not saying anything bad about the big dots. If you're still all on the big dots, hey, more power to you. I hope they serve you well. Uh, however, like I said, I want to be able to have precision at distance, and those sights no longer serve that purpose. Do brave deeds and endure.